Jim Denton, I think, is ready. And so, John Denton, the referee from Wexford, starting, and it's Antrim into an early attack. Alton McFetridge trying to connect. That's Alton McFetridge there, known to his pals as Clute, and he's marked this afternoon by Conor O'Donovan. Down by the club Dominic McKinley. Through it comes towards Pat O'Neill, trickling through to Nicholas English. Can English now apply some finish here? Tackled in there. And it goes out over the end line for a 65. The tackle coming in there by Declan McKillop. English is injured. Marking was slack. English had a yard. And watch for the left corner back coming in late. Tackling decisively. And it trickles out over the end line. Under the dropping ball, Terence McDalton. Paul McKillen there with Donald Armstrong. It breaks in, however, to... Joe Hayes through the centre towards Nicholas English is good at drifting away from his marker inside in the square oh it comes on to the goalkeeper and the referee's whistle sounds it's a penalty a penalty for Tipperary for holding the Tipperary sharpshooter watch it once again the referee's whistle sounded as Terence Donnelly was there holding the full forward although in the replay it didn't seem quite like that and it's going to be Pat Fox who will take the penalty this year in the championship, English has taken most of the frees. Tip a point behind early in the game. It's gone in. It went in somehow, despite the best efforts of the cornerback, and Fox has gold. Tipperary's reply within two minutes then, and they take the lead. Once again, watch it as he opened up the shoulders. Seemed to be half stopped as it was going in, but it trickled over the line. Back with the action. Fergus McAllister trying to go through. Breaks out to Donald Armstrong. Half locked down by Joe Hayes. Out again to Brian Donnelly towards McAllister. Picked up here by John Kennedy. Whipped away downfield towards Nicky English. The back's not standing on ceremony. Getting it up first time to Terence McNaughton. Left half back. Up it goes towards... The other McDonald, it's a goal by Alcon McFetridge. An Antrim goal, what a response inside a minute. Alcon McFetridge is the scorer. Oh, that's the reply they so badly needed. Watch it one more time as Terence McNaughton drove it in high, deep into the heart of the Tipperary goal area. They all went up for it and it broke down to Alcon McFetridge and bang, goal. Back at the other end, that's English taking a shot from an acute angle and it's gone over the bar. Fergus Barr, meanwhile, Declan Phillip. It's come down, Danny McAllister, it's another goal! Another goal, put away emphatically by Fergus McAllister. A second and from goal. Well, there were question marks about this Tipperary fullback line before, following their monster campaign. But that ball played in there by Paul McKillen. And when it came back, it was finished off fairly decisively by Fergus McAllister. There was no stopping it when it came out to him, and he whipped it away. Pat O'Neill. That's a nudge and a push. Somehow kept in play towards Pat Fox. Declan McKillop is dispossessed. It runs on to Nicky English from Pat Fox. Can he finish? Oh, he can. That's a smashing goal. Well, that's his trademark, surely. Great finishing. And tip lead by a goal again. 21 and a half minutes gone. And the old firm of Fox and English again. Two defenders taken to try and dispossess Fox, leaving English unmarked. He knew where the back of the goal was and he picked it out Caldwell Armstrong across the face of the goal Laverty attempts to keep it in play challenged by John Heffernan and there's a shot oh a good save as well a great save by Ken Hogan I think it came off Ken Hogan's stick well that was a really fine save and Tip wake up once again and realise 
but Antrim cannot be taken lightly. Pat Fox challenged by Terence McNaughton. Trying to get it inside onto his left hand side, and he's gold. Tipperary's third goal, Fox's second. So that's two goals for Pat Fox. One from a penalty, and now the second one, 22 minutes into the second half. Rounding Terence McNaughton and in beyond Patterson. Back live with the action. Hayes, half hit, reaches uh, Donny O'Connell from John Leahy across to the other wing forward, Declan Ryan. Chips it back to John Kennedy, advancing, elegant, outside to Pat Fox. First time inside, trickles through to Niall Patterson. He's closed down quickly and Leahy lashed it, but outside and wide.